3D Bird Nest Acrylic and Gel Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this extreme 3D bird nest that sits up above the nail and it's not like a flat bird nest but actually like sits up like it's a bird made a nest on your nail and uh, with three little robin's eggs. So for this one I thought and thought and thought and thought and thought on how to make the right kind of fibery stuff for the bird nest and when I finally figured it out it was like a duh moment because it just made sense. So. The bird nest itself is made out of gel and twine, so you'll see how I did that in a little bit. And then the eggs are just acrylic and everything else is acrylic and this nail, I once you figure out how to make the bird nest, it is so simple and so easy and looks amazing. So I hope you guys like it and it could definitely be made into say a ring or um, earrings would be cute or a necklace or just something because it does have that just cute little... Yeah, I just think it's adorable. So I hope you guys like it too, and don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little bell to get all the notifications. I know some people have been saying that they haven't been getting notifications for my channel, so make sure that the little bell is clicked so you don't miss any videos, and I will see you in my next video. So to begin with, I'm going to start with an overlay of a mint green acrylic. The reason I went with a mint green instead of any other color, basically, is I wanted to keep it pastel and spring-like, but I also thought that a green would be appropriate. You know, this bird nest is probably going to be in a tree or a bush or something like that, so... Oh, unless you're the birds are on mine house and then it's on the corner of all the gutters, but hopefully you find a nice leafy place. So I thought just a little hint of green in the background would really kind of bring out that springy green, lifely, lifely <laughs> feeling of life. So that was the reason behind that color choice. So I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic just to build it up and make sure that it is nice and strong and it's going to hold up really, really well. And now I'm going to be filing it into shape with my e-file. I started out with a pretty coarse bit just to remove any bulk and just kind of speed up the process a little bit. This bit that I'm using is a is a bullet shaped bit, which is my favorite shape of a bit for doing something like this, but it doesn't get things very smooth. So to smooth it out, I'm going to just use a barrel shaped, really fine, fine bit, and it's going to do a marvelous job. So now to make your bird nest material, I'm going to take two colors of colored gel. So I have one that's kind of like a I don't know, creamy color and then a brown. I just thought my brown was too dark, so I'd use the creamy color to sort of mute it a little bit and kind of tone it down. Then I'm taking some twine. So this is brown twine. They're really cheap stuff that's scratchy and you don't really want to use for much because it's just kind of unpleasant. And I'm going to cut off little sections. They're about half a centimeter or a third of an inch long, but you know, you just little little teeny tiny chunks. So you're just going to cut off little chunks of this twine and then unravel it and make it just so it's all fibrous in there. Mix that in with your gel. So it's going to create this. The only thing I can compare it to is a hairball. It's just this kind of weird material and just keep doing it until you have the right texture of hairball in your little mixing bowl. So keep adding twine. You can always add more gel or add more twine and then just mix it up again. Use a brush you don't really like when you're doing this because it does kind of beat up your brush a little bit. So don't use your absolute favorite brand new gel sculpting brush. Use a crappy one. And then grab your funny little hairball, stick it on the nail, and it doesn't really want to stick very well. It kind of wants to just pick up, but work with it. It doesn't take too much and then it'll start to stick and then just slowly mold your hairball into the shape of a nest. This process is not exact. It is not any sort of make a perfect circle. Just kind of work with your hairball until it is the shape that you want it to be. So try to get it circular as best you can. If there are sections, like I have that one that just sticks out straight to the side, that's okay. After you have that started, go ahead and cure it and then mix more of your hairball mixture. So I just mix more stuff exactly the same way and fill in any holes if you have any that are just like a big gap. After you cure that second round, go ahead and trim off any extra pieces. One big thing that is, I think, really important is my color gel cures without a tacky layer. That helps significantly because you don't have to worry about tap coating this at all. It's just, it's okay. It's just done. So that is a really important part if you can find one that doesn't have a tacky layer. I would highly recommend using that. Then on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting my three little eggs. To start with, you just want to create a flat shape that is got that outline edge of an egg. So just set down a bead and then pull it into it so it's got a slight point on it. Not too much of a point, just a very subtle little point. And I'm doing kind of a robin's egg. So I used a blue to create, a very pale blue to create my eggs or like a teal, pale teal blue. Then after those are set, pick them off, the nail form backing will come right off, and then sculpt up the uh, one side of them. So add another bead of that same color to one side of your eggs, 
and just round it out so you have a nice rounded shape. So after you've got it done on the one side, so you're going to do this and just kind of round them off on one side. Then after they're completely set, you're going to, I'm using, this is the back of my brush or the top of my brush and some poster putty just to hold them in place while I'm working on them. After you have that, take them off the poster putty, flip them over so that you've got the flat side up again. So that the bottom side on these right now is nice and curved and domed. You're going to want to do that to the top side. So just flip them over and then add that second layer of acrylic to the other side. So this process is a little tedious because it is in three layers, but it doesn't take very long. It's not very difficult. You just have to kind of let it set and babysit it and then go back to it. So if you have another project you're working on at the same time, you might as well just kind of go back and forth between them. So now carefully file the edges of your eggs so you get rid of any harsh lines that there may be. You may not have any. You may not have to file it at all, but if you do have any lines that you're like, oh, that's got to go, just very gently file to get rid of them. It shouldn't take too shouldn't take too much. They are a little bit hard to hold, so hopefully it's not too bad. Add some more of that gel in the center of your nest. Um, it could be any of the colors. I would just, I mean, you can either do like I use the creamy color or you can do brown. Um, and then stick your eggs in there, cure it. They should cure down in place and then take a little bit of a medium blue paint and add a little bit of spots on your, on your eggs. Apply a layer of gel sealer around the background and then some matte top coat over the eggs and you are all set. Like I said, I really enjoyed making these. It's kind of, it's really easy to do. It's kind of a little bit frustrating since that hairball material doesn't really like to do what you want it to, but it does work. You just have to play with it. So I hope you guys like this and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.